Hi, so let's go ahead and discuss mock three, uh, mock seven's passage three, which is based on what of all things biology. Uh, uh, so it essentially talks about the artificial creation of enzymes in the lab using a new method and its potential significance, its impact, its methodology, and from where this new technique came from. You know, progen natural languages ah, so if you are not familiar with biology reading all these sentences uh, could have been a challenge but other than that i'd say in purely in terms of idea uh, it is a kind of passage a kind of article that you're likely to find in a magazine so not very challenging per se except for some of the jargon right so here are the details So created artificial enzymes, different sequences from the ones found in nature yet turning out to be effective in the process breaking some myths or assumptions, right? So here is our first question based on the passage. From the passage we can infer that the AI system progen has all of the following abilities except. So does it have this ability create artificial proteins with sequences differing significantly from natural proteins? Yes. Generate functional enzyme, enzymes that have potential applications. Yes. Grasp some basic concepts of biology. Yes. Generate proteins that work even after some mutations. Ooh, that's doubtful. But before I discuss it, let me take you back to the right parts of the passage. Here they are. So I've just highlighted certain parts. See, even when they're artificially created amino acid sequences greatly deviated from any known natural protein so when you look at this it helps you establish that a is true then have a look at b generate functional enzymes that have potential applications look at this part at the bottom of the fourth paragraph lot of applications right so b is also true C, grasp some basic concepts of biology. Look at this third highlight. So I've shown you the three places that help us prove A, B and C as true. Now D, generate proteins that work even after some mutations. Now the passage says that these proteins that are created by progen are uh, sort of mutations. But then once these proteins are created, will they continue to work even if they were to mutate that is something that cannot be determined on the basis of the passage so the proteins generated do work but if those proteins generated by progen system were to mutate will they continue to work we don't know right and that is why uh, infer except basically means pick up an answer choice that is not true a b and c are true d is not true therefore we choose d as our answer for question number nine okay. here is the next one okay from the passage we can infer that the ai system progen has all of the following abilities except so once again infer plus except means choose an answer which is not true so let us see grasped and applied contextual information have a look here is the relevant part priming it with 56000 sequence contextual so it it basically was fed a lot of data but it could grasp all of it and use it so this segment basically tells us that a is true let's have a look at b generated proteins whose atomic structure resembled that of natural proteins here is once again a relevant part so although the sequences were like nothing seen before so on the basis of this we can say that 
sequences were not same but the atomic structures definitely this entire paragraph i'll just take you back to that this this particular paragraph measured the atomic structure looked just as they should okay so this entire part basically supports b okay how about c applied the evolutionary process to generate efficacious proteins uh, but here is a sentence that i remember the artificial designs perform much better than the than designs that were inspired by the evolutionary process so when you look at c it says it applied the evolutionary process no it went on to apply something that was not an evolutionary process and it went on to perform a lot better so on the basis of this segment i'd say that c is false and that leaves you with d processed vast vast amounts of data and generated vast amounts of result look at this part 280 million different proteins huh? you, the, the sequences are fed and it obviously went ahead and learned from all of this so d processed vast amounts of data and generated vast amounts of result will also be true so a b and d are true c is false so c is the one which is not true therefore c is the one that should are should be our answer for question number 10 so question 10 c it is moving over to the next one what does the author imply by as well as how naturalistic the ai proteins underlying grammar and semantics were so basically first up grammar and semantics were used as a metaphor here for enzymes that is why they were emphasized in the passage so what is grammar what is semantics grammar and so grammar is all about study of words okay how so in grammar you study how words are created how words change and how those words are arranged to lead to meaningful sentences and semantics is a branch of language that essentially focuses on uh generating meanings from those sentences okay it focuses on how you and i how we sit down to infer uh meanings or arrive at meanings on the basis of the sentences that are given to us so in language grammar teaches you about words their arrangement and semantic brings in meanings similarly uh when here we talk about underlying amino acid we are saying that okay the system understands individual amino acids how they are created the way they are arranged and meaning here will be the kind of impact that they go on to have now keeping that in mind a is taking it not as a metaphor but as a literal interpretation a uh, ai model understood the language and grammar of amino acids it's a met metaphor ha uh, what they understood was the nature and the properties that's better so b is definitely better c is it about just the order that is that is imitated no in fact the passage goes on to tell us that artificial intelligence did not even follow the order in some cases it just adhered to 31.8% of the natural order so c is contradicted by the passage anyway so you can rule it out d how well did the ai process the contextual information regarding the properties and rules of amino acids uh, absolutely yes ai did do that but is it the right explanation for this metaphor does it talk about amino acids sequences impact no ha uh, b still goes on to do a better job of that so d should be eliminated and we should choose b as our best answer choice so question number 11 the answer is b and that takes us to the last question of our passage question 12 what is the potential impact of the ai generated enzymes developed by progen okay let's have a look a the technology may surpass the effectiveness of directed evolution mentioned explicitly in the passage so this is true b the technology is unlikely to have much of an impact on protein engineering this is false the passage is very promising about this particular approach c the technology requires more research before its impact can be fully assessed false 
the impact has already been assessed. In order to make it more practical, more usable, you may require further research, but the research is not needed to assess its impact. That is something that has already been demonstrated. D, the technology will be limited to a narrow range of therapeutic applications. A, the passage says that it will have vast applications. So B, C and D are fast, are false. A is true and that is why our answer to question number 12 should be option A. So that takes care of our third passage.